friends, I am back with an update on the longer laser, Ray 5. So let's get cracking. Of course, we're going to start on my website. I've got a lasers tab where you can find all the lasers I use. Right here is the longer 3D first cut, and I'm going to take you today to the website. Now we're going to double check firmware and stuff, but let's also check the Father's Day sales. From June 5th to June 19th, there are Father's Day deals. You can save more than a thousand bucks. There are coupons and check it out. You can get the Ray 5 20 watt for about $750 as a complete kit. And you can also get the 40 watt Laser B1 for less than $1,440. Wicked cool deals that I'm sure every father would enjoy. Today though, we're going to bounce out to support. And I'm going to go to the firmware download. I want to switch to the Ray 5 20 watt laser and check out all the awesome info we have available to us. We have the manual, parameter table, quick start guide, and firmware. Now this is what I first came here for was the firmware. Friends, when we open this, it is version 2.2. Guess what? I double checked my laser. It is already up to date. So I can skip that step. All right, with that bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's head out to the laser and let's have a little fun. Friends, today we've got a challenge for the longer Ray 5. This is some scrap lumber. I have never been able to cut it with my previous lasers. If we check the measurements, it is about nine millimeters thick. So our project today is going to be to see if we can cut through this. Notice I've raised it up so that way we'll see when the pieces fall out. Real quickly, I'm going to loosen the laser, move it into place, pop down the awesome little kickstand, and lock it in at the right size. Bring the kickstand up, get my piece of wood placed, and... Let's do the rest over in Lightburn. So of course I am in Lightburn. That is what I like to work with. If you have not seen the first video, I'll make sure there's a link up here for you. I'm gonna simply draw a tiny hexagon. When I drag it out, I want it to be less than a centimeter, which is what each of the grid marks is. And then let's check some settings. I use my red for cutting wood. It is typically lines 400 and 100, but this is pretty darn thick. So I'm gonna change that speed to 200 and I'm gonna see if it'll work with just one pass. Now I'm gonna power the laser on. Just wanna let you know here that I use the Adobe Podcast tool to clean the audio and that's why you can't hear the machine anymore. Now using my move command, I can nudge it up. I'm gonna shift nudge. I've placed this way out here so it's easier for us to see if the part falls through on camera. Now let's quickly frame it. I can come back a couple clicks. Let's hit frame once again. That looks like it's gonna work just fine. And time to grab some safety glasses. Let's see if we can cut. All right, so right now I am going to shift nudge to move to the right. We were cutting pretty good, but it obviously did not fall through. Let's back up and try it one more time. There is a shift nudge to the left. Now we're going to go one nudge to the right. I'm going to go back to my cuts and layers. I saw a little bit of a flame up, so I'm going to set this to 250. And I'm going to try three cuts. So this is how you use guess and check to find the right numbers to cut with. Of course, grab those safety glasses. And let's get cracking. Once again, I'm going to shift nudge to move that away. And that time, the part fell out. How cool is that? Friends, we have in two tries found a number that works with this crazy choke of hardwood that I've saved for so long. Totally impressed with the power of the longer x-ray 5.
Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website. Once again, it is hlmodtech.com. There is a tab dedicated to lasers, and then also down at the bottom is a sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you want more information about the laser, check the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.